Okay, Google. Set my thermostat to away. Setting Ecobee to away. Okay, Google. Set my thermostat to home. My apologies. I don't understand. Okay, Google. Set my thermostat temperature profile to home. My apologies. I don't understand. Okay, Google. Set my comfort setting to home. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Okay, Google. Set my thermostat comfort setting to home. Okay, setting the Ecobee to home. What's going on guys, Mitesh here. So today I want to show you guys how to better control your Ecobee thermostat using your voice. So as I said in my Google Home Mini review, the Ecobee finally added support for Google Assistant. It's had Amazon Alexa support for a long time, but what I found is that the commands aren't so natural. Like you can, you saw me trying to get it to set the thermostat to home, but it just would not take the command unless I said it in a very specific way. So I found that with if this and that, you can say a little, you can say it a little bit more naturally and get it to work. So I want to share that with you guys, and if you guys have maybe some other different phrases you guys want to use, you can set it up yourself. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to get Ecobee working with Google Assistant a little bit more naturally using if this and that. So here we go. Alright, so to do this, all you're really going to need is to download the If This and That app for any phone, Android, or iOS, or you can just use the website if you wanted to go that route. But I have the app here, so I'm going to show you guys how to deal with that. So just open up the If This and That app. Um, you have to make an account. I already have one. I already logged in, so just go ahead and do that very quick. You can do it with Google or you can do it with Facebook too, I think. So first thing you're going to need to do is to connect up Ecobee and Google Assistant to your account. So you'll have to give it permission to do that, so just search for Google Assistant, you get that, and then you hit connect. It'll make you log in through your Google account, of course, so you can do that, hit allow, and it's connected. It's that simple. And then you'll have to have to sync up Ecobee as well. So just search for Ecobee. Once again, just hit connect. It'll take you to the login page for Ecobee. I've already had my stuff populated, so and you can just hit accept and it will once again authorize if this and that to make changes to Ecobee using the service. So now that I have both of them connected, all I have to do is set up a recipe, which is what they call it. So if some voice action triggers Google Assistant and then then the Ecobee will set change the thing away. That's where the if this and that comes from. It's a really a programmer's term and as someone who is a programmer, I really enjoy the service. So. Alright, so how to create a new recipe? So the first thing you can do is you can go to My Applets, and at the top there you can hit a plus sign, and then you get the option to do if this and that. So, hit the plus sign. Now the app is a little slow, so it takes a little while to load, even after you hit it one time. I'm really not sure where the button is on this app. I, I think you have to click actually the this instead of the plus button, which is weird. But then, once again, just search for Assistant, and you can see Google Assistant popped up there. Just click on it, and then you can. So you have a couple different, a couple different ways to set up a phrase. So you can say a simple phrase, just a any old phrase, and we'll take it. You can say a phrase with a number if you want to specify like a temperature specifically, or you can do a phrase with a text ingredient. So this works really well because I set up one where I tell I tell Google to tweet, and it will go ahead and listen for the rest of the phrase, and it will tweet out whatever I say. But I don't think we needed that. I think we just use a simple phrase for this one. So what I want to say is I when I want. When I'm leaving the house, I want Google to set my thermostat setting to away. So what I'm going to tell it is, I'm heading out. I'm heading out, and then you get two more options, so two more optional ways to say it. So either I'm heading out, or I'm leaving, or you can just say a very clear set thermostat to away, not aways. And then you tell what Google will say in response to say that it's triggered. So I'm going to tell it to say setting Ecobee to away. So that's what it's going to say. So once it figures out that this is what I want to trigger, it's going to say this in response. 
So that's the if, now the then that. So what I want to happen once that's done is I want Ecobee. And you can see you have a bunch of options under Ecobee as well. Um, what I want to do is to set the comfort profile until next transition. And I want it to set it to oil, which is already selected. And my thermostat's already selected, so uh, mine's called my Ecobee. I was trying to change the name because <laughs> trying to make it work with Google Assistant, but anyways, so that's my thermostat, and you can say it's a setting comfort profile to away. So just hit OK, and it's set up. So you can also receive a notification every time it runs, but I don't need that, so I'm just going to hit finish, and now it's activated. <clears throat> so that's one, and then I'm going to set up another one where, because the harder ones for me to do is to tell it that I'm home, and it never really reacts. So when I tell set thermostat to home, it's like, I don't understand that. So what we're going to do is tell assistant, to recognize a different phrase, we're going to tell it to say, I'm heading home. So I can say this from when I'm leaving work, and it will know that I want the thermostat to be changed, or something like that, or say, I'm home, once I'm actually home, or just say, set thermostat to home, something, where, and then it'll, I want to respond by saying, setting thermostat to home. Hit OK, it'll save, then we click with that, go back up here to Ecobee, find it. We'll do the same thing again, set comfort profile. Now this time we'll set it to home. Hit OK, and it's done. So now the third time, let's test it with uh, our Google Home. All right, so let's test out these recipes that we made on it, this and that. So all we have to do is just say the trigger phrase. So, OK, Google, I'm heading home. Setting thermostat to home. As you can see, it works now. Finally, the home one is much easier to set. I could say something a little bit more explicit like, OK, Google, set thermostat to away. Setting Ecobee to away. And as you can see, it listens to that phrase. Now, the thing is, it's not perfect. If you do mess up a phrase, it's not going to get it right. So if, I, if I'm heading home, instead I say, OK, Google, I'm coming home. I'm glad. Welcome back. So it clearly doesn't recognize that phrase. It doesn't know what I want to do with it. So it's not perfect, but I find it's a lot more natural than having to say, OK, Google, set com thermostat comfort setting to home. You got it. Setting the Ecobee to home. I finally remember the right phrase this time. But normally I'd never do. So this is a lot easier for me. And hopefully it's a little bit easier for you guys to use as well. Um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this one. Um, I'll link the recipes that I made down below, and if you guys find anything cool on if this and that to use, let me know in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.